Hello, welcome to Story Time. I'm James. I'm from Singapore Association for the Deaf. I'm a Singapore Sign Language SGSL instructor. I teach people who are interested to learn sign. Today, I volunteer for National Library Board and LB to sign a story. Special thanks to Straits Times Press for their permission to use the book to tell the story. The title of the story is My Coloring Book is Ruined! Written by Jill Lim Illustrated by Chloe Chang This book has four main characters. Mum Kate, Claire, and Emma. <laughs> no! Claire wheels. Mom! Oh my gosh! Look! Kate's scribbled all over my coloring book. <sighs> oh no, says mum. How does it look? Pretty bad? Uh, yes! Everything is blue! My book is ruined! I'm mad! <laughs> Why did Kate do this? Claire starts to cry. Emma sighs. She has autism, that's why. That makes her different in so many ways. From the things she does, to the things she says. Mm. You and I like drawing, but Kate doesn't draw. And coloring neatly to her is a chore. But, uh, Aren't people with autism good at art? Well, some are math geniuses. Really quite smart. Some know everything about dinosaurs. When they lived, their food, their skin, teeth, and claws. Mm -hmm. True. Mom agrees, but everyone's different. Kate, just not musical, arty, or brilliant. She's not good at coloring. She can't tell the time. And the math that she does, it's simpler than mine. You are both right, smiles mum. What you say is true. Does that mean there's nothing that Kate can do? One day, when she's older and finished with school, 
She has to do something. That's usually the rule. So, what do you think Kate can grow up to be? Well, what is she good at now? Hmm. Let's see. Ah 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 ah! She 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 gallops! Exclaims Claire. She skips. She jogs. She can gallop. Uh, with horses. Lol. Maybe walk dogs. Kate likes being neat. Mum says. Maybe she should be a teacher's assistant. I think she'd be good. She enjoy shelving books at the end of the day. Putting pencils and crayons and toys away. Ee, ee, away! Claire thinks she loves swimming. This job would be cool. Picking things up from the bottom of a pool. She can work in a water park. Dive down to find things that park visitors leave behind. She'll find goggles and pool toys that float away, and return these treasures to a lost and found tray. Lost and found, echoes Kate. Lost and found tree. Claire grins. I think Kate could repeat things all day. Wouldn't it be great if one day she finds a job where she repeats, and no one minds? Hmm. But when she's frustrated. And can't explain why. She sometimes have meltdowns. She'll scream and she'll cry. She may hit her own head. Emma says with a frown. Will others know how to help her calm down? We can show them. Mum says. What makes her feel better? How to set things up so that nothing upsets her? If people around her are patient and kind, they'll find she can learn. It may just take more time. Mum shows them a website. From here, you can see. How talented those with autism can be! Claire squeals. Oh, so cute! Can we get a cat? Emma scrolls on, then stops. <gasps> Wish I could do that. They can sell their art. Mum says, "Earn money that way, or put their drawings on a mug or a tray." Some people with autism work in cafes. Some learn to bake. Some garden. Mum says, though they may not be able to fly a jet. Some design pages for the internet. Ah, ah! I've got it! Claire suddenly yelps in glee. Here's one thing for sure: Kate will grow up to be our sister. She'll be great at it. Don't you agree? 
Claire calls out. Let's colour, Kate. Do it with me. There are lots more pictures that haven't been done. We can do them together. Come on, it'll be fun. You can scribble whichever way you want to. Here are my crayons. And the blue is for you.